Hey everyone, Seth coming to you from the Kenwood Training Department. Today we're introducing a brand new product, the Kenwood DNR476S Digital Navigation Multimedia Receiver. Digital means that it no longer has a DVD or CD disc mechanism inside of it. But let's face it, when's the last time you used a DVD or CD? But if you're looking for all the conveniences of built-in Garmin navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, then this may just be the perfect receiver for you. First, we'll take a look and see what's inside of the box, and then we'll go through some of the feature highlights. Let's take a look. Taking a look inside of the box, first you'll see the GPS antenna, and then the GPS antenna mounting plate. Next will be the USB extension cable, and then you'll have the wiring power harness. Next will be the microphone, and then of course the receiver itself, as well as the included mounting cage and mounting cage trim bezel, as well as a pair of removal tools. Then you'll have the mounting screws, and lastly the warranty card, as the Kenwood DNR476S includes a one-year warranty. Now, let's take a look at the back side of the receiver. On the left side of the receiver, you'll have a few video cables. You'll have the video output, the rear view camera input, and the dash cam or front view camera input cable. When using the video output, you can also use down below here the AV out for the audio. Next will be the AM FM antenna input. To the right will be the microphone input for the Bluetooth microphone. Next to that will be the GPS antenna input. And below that will be your three sets of 4 volt RCA preouts. Rears at the top, fronts in the middle, and subwoofer at the bottom. On the right side of the receiver will be the dash cam input for the optional Kenwood DRV-N520. Next to that will be the AV input to be used with the optional Kenwood CA-C3 AV cable. This AV input is now an assignable input. Let's take a detailed look at how this works. We now have the ability to connect three cameras to our top-end multimedia receivers. So let's talk about how this works. Nothing physically has changed on the backside of the receivers in regards to the camera inputs. Here's how it does work though. On the previous generation, the front camera input was also labeled as the dashboard camera input. So you had to make a choice. Were you going to install a front camera or a dashboard camera? Assuming that you were looking for, at a minimum, touchscreen controls. Of course, you could have connected to the AV input and switched to the source, but it wasn't a very fluid method. So now we have the ability to actually assign not only the front camera input to a dedicated selectable input, but also the AV input to a dedicated automatic selectable input. For example, you can now connect a front camera to the front camera input, and then you can connect the dashboard camera to the AV input. That's one of the methods that you can use. Now, another method that we have is you can actually assign these front and AV inputs as either a left camera or a right camera input. So why would this be beneficial to you? Well, many cars now are coming with OEM blind spot cameras. If you'd like to install an aftermarket blind spot camera, now this gives you the ability to do so. At any time when you display the camera screen, you can then touch the top of the screen and you'll see a list of the available cameras. You can easily then select the left camera, the right camera, or the rear camera input in that case. Now, a much better method, if available for your specific vehicle, is the ability to do all of this automatically. And that's with the assistance of the iDatalink Maestro RR2. With the new iDatalink Maestro RR2 with our top end multimedia receivers, if the vehicle has the ability to exhibit that information over its data bus network, or if it already has OEM blind spot cameras, you can then make this all happen automatically upon the turn signal activation. So now, if you have that feature on that specific vehicle with the Maestro RR2, you turn on the left turn signal, and immediately on our receiver display, you see the left blind spot camera. And the same goes for the right side. So again, just a wide variety of expandability options with our new three camera inputs. Next to that will be the USB input. 
To the right and below will be the inputs for the optional iDatalink Maestro RR. Let's take a look at some of the cool features that can display on your Kenwood receiver when you have a Maestro RR connected. Keep in mind that many features are vehicle specific. Be sure to reference maestro.idatalink.com to see what's supported by your vehicle. In the bottom right hand corner will be the Sirius XM tuner input for the optional Sirius SXV300 tuner. And to the left will be the wiring power harness input. Now let's power the receiver on and take a look at the front. Starting in the upper right hand corner is the remote sensor. This will receive the remote control sensor signal from the optional Kenwood KNA-RCDV331 remote control. You can also install the Kenwood Remote S app to use your smartphone as a wireless remote control. To the left of that is a micro SD card slot. Here you can insert a micro SD card for music or video playback, or it can be used for future Garmin navigation updates. Next is the home button. Press this button to display the home screen. Press and hold this button for one second or more to turn the power off, and then simply press again to turn the power back to on. Below that are the volume up and down buttons. Below that is the Garmin navigation button. Pressing this button each time will toggle between the current source screen and the navigation screen. Pressing and holding for one second or more will display the camera screen. Below that, press this to display the pop-up menu screen. Press and hold this button for one second or more to turn the attenuation of the volume on or off. Below that, press this button to display the app screen, which could be CarPlay, Android Auto, depending upon what you have connected. Pressing this switch each time toggles between the current source screen and the app screen. Pressing and holding this for one second or more will display the voice recognition screen. The DNR476S is compatible with high resolution audio giving you the best in sound quality. It also allows you to customize your experience. With the new customizable multi-widget home screens, you can have up to three pages of customizable widgets. Four widgets can display on each page. Some widget options include album artwork of the current song, the clock, the compass, photo frame, visualizer, weather, turn-by-turn -turn lane guidance, the Garmin navigation screen, and so much more. With driver safety in mind, helping you to minimize distractions and stay focused on the road ahead is Kenwood's top priority. With a compatible iPhone, you have access to Apple CarPlay, and with a compatible Android device, you have access to Android Auto. Simply use the cable that came with the phone or a high-quality data transfer cable to connect to the receiver's USB input. By having the built-in Garmin navigation system, you get some advantages that are typically not available within Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. For example, the GPS signal. Now, this will work in areas with no or low GPS signal, such as tunnels and rural areas. Unlike a phone, data is also not required. And best of all, the overall experience of using the built-in Garmin navigation with features such as lane assist, and the fastest rerouting available using Kenwood Solid State Drive. With the Garmin navigation, you also have access to the Kenwood Traffic powered by Inrix app, giving you live traffic information, fuel prices, and more. Additional features can be accessed when using a compatible Maestro RR or RR2 with a compatible vehicle. For example, some vehicles have an instrument cluster that displays turn-by-turn -turn lane guidance and compass direction. This is retained with the Garmin navigation system. So again, now you can use this receiver the way you want to use this receiver, as well as getting the best sound quality experience. Thanks everyone for tuning in to the unboxing and feature highlights of the Kenwood DNR476S. We'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Kenwood.